Voyager's Guide to the Night Sky is just really about how to have fun, how to better enjoy the night sky. Mm -hmm. And the first two chapters, the first chapter is really introducing how things move in the sky and why. You know, when you get up in the morning, the stars look different than they did at night. They're in different positions. And why is that? Mm -hmm. Well, we're on a rotating planet. And, and um, the first chapter goes through and shows you how the constellations shift as, as the time of night changes or as the time of year changes mm -hmm. and also how to track the moon and when is the moon going to rise and set. And, and very young students can learn to at least approximately compute in their head when the mm -hmm. moon's going to rise, if they know what phase wow. it's in. Yeah, it's not hard. And, and this is something that we've lost because in the past, most people knew how to do that because you had to, to know when to plant and harvest. You had to know mm -hmm. what month it was and people were out at night and we mm -hmm. didn't have all this modern technology where we, you know, we just turn on the lights at night. Um, so people spend a lot more time outdoors at, at night, but uh, something's been lost. Yes. Uh, it, granted, we've, we've gained all kinds of information about outer space based on the technology we have now, but, uh, mm -hmm. but I want to reintroduce people to the basics of, Hey, you can, you can tell when the moon's going to rise and set roughly, you know, within, mm -hmm. within an hour or so. And um, you know, when you do this often enough, there was a time when I was out, almost every night. And I could just by the position of the stars, I knew approximately what time it was. And it's just something that you get, you get used to. And uh, I wanted people to be able to experience that. So the first two chapters cover that the second chapter goes into a little more advanced stuff. Okay. And um, I, I, I put that as a separate, as a separate chapter that the youngsters can skip if they want to. So the youngsters okay. can do chapter one and then jump to chapter three and, and the rest of the book's an easy read. Okay. Uh, chapter two is a little more advanced. It, tell, you know, it talks about the tilt of the earth and how that affects things and so on. And that's for the more, you know, maybe the high school students want to go through that and mm -hmm. so on. The rest of the book is, um, I mean, chapter three is on the eye and how your eye works and how to, how to use it most effectively because huh. our, our eyes have built in. I mean, we talk about night vision goggles, your eyes come pre-installed with that. Basically, you've got two systems. You've got your cones that work during the day and mm -hmm. see color. And then you got the rods that they are active during the day and they can detect motion and stuff, but they really kick in at night. And there are ways you can optimize how you see things at night. And so there's a chapter on that. There's a chapter on if you want to get a telescope, what kind you might want to get and how to use it. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've got a lot of experience with telescopes. So I know what to look for, right. and what to avoid. And because I get, you know, I get a lot of questions about that. What kind of telescope should I get? Well, there's, mm -hmm. there is a chapter in, it, in the book that gives you everything you're going to want to know. And that you need to price know. Ranges and yeah. And then, and then the rest of the book is about what's up there and mm -hmm. how to see it, how to enjoy it. And there's a lot you can see naked eyes. Some people say, well, I don't have a telescope. You can see meteor showers without a telescope. And the book will tell you when those happen. Mm -hmm. uh, the next uh, eclipse that's going to happen, the next solar eclipse, the book tells you when that's going to happen and how to see it. And so right. uh, just things like that. And if you do have binoculars, uh, binoc mm -hmm. you can see a lot of binoculars. There are certain star clusters like the beehive that you can see in binoculars very clearly or the Pleiades. Gorgeous. And if you have a small telescope, there's even more you can see. So basically the remaining section of the book is how to enjoy the night sky. And there's even a chapter on how to take uh, stargazing.